All right, we're working with the Pythagorean Theorem now. Now, the Pythagorean Theorem, on this one, it's our triangles, and it's specific to right triangles. Our Pythagorean Theorem formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and it helps us find a missing side of a triangle. We don't know the length of x in this case. We know that the, the base on this one is 6, and we know that the uh, length on this one here is 10. Now, this one is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse on a right triangle, if you look for where this little square is on the right triangle, it's always on the opposite side. It's our longest side, and it's always the opposite one. Now, when we're dealing with this formula here, the hypotenuse is always C. And then all we're going to do is we're going to plug in each side here. Okay, and these two, it doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B. You can interchange the two of them. That's our community property of addition. It doesn't matter. So you can choose, I'm just going to plug in X for A, 6 for B, and then 10 for C. But this is the important one. This hypotenuse is always C. And it's always the one that's directly across. It's one that doesn't touch that box at all. It's across from it. All right, so let's plug this in. I've got X squared plus, and I've got 6 here, 6 squared equals 10 squared. Okay, so I've got X squared, 6 squared is 36, plus 36 equals 10 squared is 100. Oops, not 1,000, sorry. 100. All right, so now what I'm going to do is subtract 36 from both sides. I've got x squared equals 100 minus 36 gives me 64. 64. If x squared gives me 64, I can take the square root of both sides. x equals, now, in math, x would equal plus or minus 8. However, in this one, it just equals 8 because we're dealing with the distance of a side, the length of a side. So distance is always positive. So your answer in this case is simply x equals 8. Now, I can do the same thing here. If I draw another triangle here. Okay, again, we have the same formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And again, my hypotenuse is always on directly across from this little box here on a right triangle. So it's my length. This, in this case, my hypotenuse would be x squared. Or my hypotenuse would be x, and then we have to square it. A, and again, again it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick 3. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. Well, 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 equals x squared. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 equals x squared. In order to solve this one, we can take the square root of both sides. 5 equals x. So my length on this one is 5. 5 units, whatever it is. If it's centimeters or meters, it would be 5 centimeters or 5 meters, either one. 